Okay, so everybody call me crazy, but I have to do these kind of tests. Here I have a Deli Green lithium iron phosphate 4S 12 volt 250 amp BMS. And you can see here on the cover it says 125 amps charge current. I know I have really bad camera work here, but whatever. Okay, so I have my test battery pack up here. This is where I test all my BMSs. And uh, I drain this pack down a little bit and I'm kind of, you know, trying to see what, what can this BMS actually handle. So here you can see I've got right now 192 amps. I was at about 210. That's measured on this shunt right here, tied into that DAC. And then I have this cable going down here, whatever, to that bus bar. It's my testing rig, okay? I'm working here. Now I needed a little bit more amps, so I got this Ames charger hooked on. And I know this probably looks like it literally wants to catch on fire, but anyway, dumping a ton of current into this BMS, I'm well past the 150, or I mean, my bad, 125 amp rating. This thing is still stone cold, so I don't think that the 125 amp rating is accurate because this BMS should have already long since disconnected. Now, I do have the USB cable in here, plugs into my computer right here in the front, so I'm going to pull up the uh, computer software, but reality is I'm dropping down on current because we're close to full, so I think these are all tapering off. Yeah, we're at 14 and a half volts uh, on this bus from here to here, so I'm probably going to have to shut all these off, turn them down a little bit, crank down the voltage and turn back on the electronic load that I currently have off. So let's turn that back on. And now we're loading down at 100 amps of current coming out of the battery pack because what, what essentially just happened is the voltage went up and wouldn't accept that full charge current. So I'm gonna let this sit and drain a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna get the PC software running so that I can see that it's monitoring the uh, current accurately. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these BMSs are good for the two, full 250 amps in both directions. Uh, I wanna see how long I can run that 200 amps of charge current through it. And uh, I don't know, I've never killed one of these. These are a Dally BMS, but they're rebranded by uh, Dally Green. I've never killed one. So here's the burn-in testing that I do so that you know, at the end of the day, I know what I'm working with. So, all right, let's come back in a bit. All right, so we've been draining for a bit. I actually upped the load so that we're pulling 60 amps on two channels. Um, this is a six channel unit. I essentially have three channels in series. Um, so you can see there's only 3.8 volts on channel three, channel two, 3.8, and channel one, 3.8. So it's sharing across all the channels. So in reality, uh, there's, there's a lot of current going through there. So anyway, uh, put that back on channel three. You can see here on my meter, 119.9 amps going out. So now if I turn the, oh, let's come back over here to the computer. Let me squirrel around a little bit. You can see the cell voltages we're reading right around 120 amps on here. Uh, I haven't calibrated this BMS yet, but you can see where the cell voltages actually are. They're around 3.2 volts. So now we should be able to accept a decent amount of charge. So if I turn this off, input off, go to channel four, input off. Now we're at effectively zero current. Now I'm gonna turn on the Ames charger and turn the voltage of the supplies back up. Current is maxed out and I'm going way over voltage, but we have a BMS here. So this is limited at a thousand watts. This is at its current limit. That's putting out 75 amps. You can see it's sort of taking up power. Let me make sure this is off. Yeah, so 100 and 150 amps is pretty good. Let me see, can I reconfigure this to different settings to get more? No, why am I limited on that? I'm barely getting anything out of this. Let me try turning it back on and off again. You can see it's still pushing quite the hefty amount of current. So now let's go read on the BMS. You can see it's reading accurately here, 200 amps. Um, and I know I'm jumping around a lot, but coming back here, 200 amps. We're, we're doing pretty good. It's definitely not going up in smoke. So like I said, I'm pretty sure this charge current rating is off, but hey, it's working. Who cares? We'll, uh, we'll roll with it. So anyway, weird little video here, but 
This is the kind of tests I do. I thought you guys might find it interesting. See you guys later. Have fun. Bye.